Hello, savvy shoppers. We all know why we're here. You need a new TV, but you don't wanna pay thousands of dollars for a TV if you can get the features you need out of an inexpensive option. Today, I'm here to show you two of the best value TV options on the market and compare them both. These are probably the most comparable or competitive TV models you could think of. The Amazon Fire TV Omni and the TCL 4 Series Roku TV. Both of these models are 50 inches, but generally you can expect our comparisons to apply to all screen sizes in these ranges. I'm not getting into the nitty gritty, but instead I'll be going over the basics of these TVs to help the average shopper get an idea of which option is right for them. I'll cover design, image, sound, price, and more, and reveal the two killer features both of these TVs offer on a budget before determining a winner. Tell us in the comments what you think is the best feature for each TV, or let us know if you're stuck between buying these two and need advice. And if you happen to make a purchase with one of our links, Slick Deals may receive a small commission. Now let's start with design. When you look at a TV, your eye should draw away from the bezel and into the video. So this brings up my first question. Why TCL? Why with this distracting silver rectangle on the front? If I go out and buy a TCL TV, I know it's a TCL. I don't need a large logo box taking my eyes off the young and the restless and breaking up the otherwise seamless black bezel. Well, I guess the Roku TV is also emblazoned on its side on the bezel. Even though Amazon has their logo on the front as well, it's not as distracting as TCLs. Simple fix though, some people online recommending hiding it with a small piece of black electrical tape. Both TVs are fairly thick to be expected at this price range, honestly. Roku TV's max thickness is about 3.4 inches, while the Omni is 3.6, so don't expect either of these to sit flush on a wall now. These are probably best suited for a more traditional TV stand and the legs like you see behind me. One thing to note, different screen sizes have different thicknesses as well, and the larger Omni models, for example, are actually slightly thinner than this one. And looking at the back end, both have four HDMI ports, USB, optical audio, 3.5 millimeter audio, and ethernet. The Omni TV also has an IR output to allow the TV to control an external cable box or receiver via an IR signal. Finally, let's talk about remotes. I found the Fire TV's remote control to be a bit cleaner setup that was easier to use, it also has voice control and a microphone that I will talk a little bit more about later in this video. The Roku TV remote control is confusing because there's both a back button and a recall button, and I'm not sure which is for what function, so I kept hitting a button with no response multiple times. And the volume buttons on the side here are not the friendliest for everyone's fingers, especially lefties. For design, I'm giving it to the Fire TV Omni. Despite being slightly thicker at this screen size, the Omni has a non-distracting bezel and a better remote. For most people, this is the most important category. Duh. I also want to acknowledge that I realize image quality could vary among model sizes, but this comparison will give you a general idea of the differences between the TV ranges. While both of the screens are 50 inches and 4K, to my eyes, the color reproduction on the TCL is not only sharper, but more accurate as well. My team and I aren't the only ones who think so either. Review site ratings said the TV has excellent out of the box color accuracy and after it was color calibrated, the accuracy is simply incredible. We'd have to agree, though the Omni looks good, the TCL TV looks great. We watched three different styles of video for comparison, an animated Pixar film, a music video, and one of our Slick Deals videos. PS subscribe. Comparing the two, the Omni has a cooler, darker image and is less sharp. The Roku TV pops and is surprisingly crisp for a sub $500 TV. Both screens are 60 Hertz, but the TCL supports Chroma 444, so it could actually work as a computer display. They both support HDR10, but not HDR10+, and neither supports Dolby Vision either unless you go with a 65 or 75 inch version of the Omni. Both also have a gaming mode with low input lag, making them great for gaming at 60 Hertz. Do note though that new Xbox and PlayStation consoles can output 120 Hertz, and you won't get that with either of these TVs. The winner on image quality is the TCL. In fact, the image quality on this TV is so good, it's the TCL's one killer feature. It is surprisingly good. If you're gonna buy one of these TVs, don't expect the most premium sound output because neither of them have it. 
You can expect little to no bass on either. Both get fairly loud, and the Omni seems to have a slightly more even range. This is to say, aside from the lack of bass, the low mids to highs are produced pretty evenly. You're gonna notice slightly better low mids from the TCL, but overall its balance isn't quite as great. That said, it doesn't compress in higher volumes quite like the Omni, which can be annoying. But it's also annoying to play your TV at higher volumes if you live in an apartment building because your neighbors can definitely hear you, so maybe you deserve it. Overall, neither of the TVs has horrible sound, but neither has great sound. The winner on sound quality is whichever speaker brand you decide to invest in. Moving on to special features. The Amazon Fire TV Omni here has essentially an Amazon Echo built into it. That is, it has built in A-L-E-X-A -E voice assistant. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10, 19 a.m. To access it, you can either speak to the TV directly or you can hit this blue button on the top of the remote. Alexa, what time is it now? The time is 11.24 p.m. This is unusual for a TV in the sub $1,000 range and unheard of for a TV less than $400. Comparatively, though the TCL advertises having voice control, you have to use the app on your phone to do so, or I think you can buy an additional remote control that has it, but it doesn't come with the TV. And even that is limited. You are able to disable the mics on the Omni if you wish to have them off FYI. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, the Omni includes an IR blaster to control other devices in your media cabinet. Nice little addition, but most people are never going to need to attach this little dongle. That's what this is, by the way, if you decide to purchase a Fire TV Omni. The winner on special features is the Fire TV Omni. Also keep in mind that it's the Omni model specifically that has ALAXA voice assistant built in. They have a less expensive Fire TV that doesn't have it, but that's the killer feature of the Omni. Having built in Alexa on a TV at this price range is impressive. Talking about the operating system, I'm conflicted. The Omni runs Amazon's Fire OS while the TCL runs the Roku OS. When I see the homepage on the Omni, I like the look and feel much more than the Roku TV's homepage, but it's deceiving. The Omni's homepage shows a bunch of great previews for TV shows, but only Amazon Prime originals or content you've subscribed to through Amazon Prime. You won't see any of the hottest new shows for Netflix or Apple TV Plus unless you open those apps. Comparatively, while Roku TV's homepage is limited, it's not fooling you into only consuming one brand of content. Both TVs allow you to set the default input to the HDMI of your choice, so if you don't like either of those shows, you are free to get a Google Chromecast or Apple TV, or put a Fire TV stick on your TCL or a Roku stick on your Fire TV. All things considered, for OS and user experiences, it's a tie. Let's talk about pricing. The TCL list price is $500, while the Omni is listed at $510. However, we picked both of these up via front page deals on Slick Deals at the same price of $330. You can expect to find both of these TVs on sale often, and as of this recording, they are both still priced at $330. This should be a tie, but because the TCL list price is slightly lower, it just barely beats out the Fire TV Omni. Now the big question, which one? We could look at Amazon reviews of the TVs for insight, and you might think they'd be biased in favor of the Amazon product, but you'd be wrong. The TCL actually has a higher rating with 4.7 out of 5 with nearly 17,000 reviews. The Omni is a newer TV model and has 4.5 stars with 2,200 reviews. Both very well-reviewed TVs. And I would say these reviews are an indication of overall satisfaction you're going to get with these TVs. They are both great TVs for the money, perhaps the best on the market, to be perfectly honest. And it all comes down to what you're looking for. So I'm going to break it down to what I think is the simplest comparison here. If all you care about is excellent image quality, the TCL Roku TV is your clear winner here. Comparatively, if you want a decent budget-friendly TV with top-of-the-line smart functionality built in, the Omni TV is the clear winner. These two killer features are very competitive in my opinion, and ultimately, I feel inclined to pick the TCL because I assume most shoppers are going to want the TV with the better image. But I'm telling you, the prospect of Alexa voice assistant on the Omni is very enticing. And the image quality is not significantly worse. Some people might actually like it more. 
Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you found this video helpful. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a game to watch. Which TV should I watch it on?